Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go Every single day. I'll be what is up guys joe holland here i am heading out on first ice in maine super excited absolutely no sleep last night because i was too jacked up threw a bunch of stuff in the tote sled and gonna go check and see if there is enough ice to fish today the wind is absolutely ripping straight sideways on me it's supposed to blow 35 and or blow 25 to 30 all day with gust in the 35 to 40 range. So it could get pretty nasty out here. I'm heading for big panfish today. Looking for giant crappie, big yellow perch, and possibly some big bass. Come along, let's check it out. Not a lot of ice, so we gotta be careful. Not much. We'll get that later. So we're looking at about two and a half inches of ice. A lot of wind, pretty crazy out here. It's gonna be tough conditions today. Ice is black at least, which is the strongest ice. It's super clear and black and it's not really cracking as I'm walking, which is nice. You know, when I hit it with that spud bar, it does some funny things. Even though the ice is thin enough to get through with a chisel or a spud bar pretty quick, drilling creates a lot less fracture around the holes from pounding through and it also leaves a cleaner hole so I elected to use the drill. All right, definitely gonna be one of those days where if you're not holding on to it, it's gone. I'm gonna show you here how I find these fish with forward facing sonar. I have it set to forward mode. You can see the zero on the top left is where I'm sitting and then the numbers respectively across the board show how far away I'm looking. Now I'm dropping the sonar back down and as I turn that pole it points 360 degrees around to wherever I am pointing it. 
So there you see some fish up off the bottom, 50 and 57 foot away. Those are definitely crappy up in the water column. And the ones under them could be crappy as well, just hanging out at the bottom. They look decent enough size that they either are a big yellow perch or they're more crappy. You can see they're moving around. They're a little bit skittish with this super thin black early ice where they can see me, hear me, and the wind is kind of keeping them moving around. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my bearing to where those fish are for direction wise because you don't want to miss them by even a foot. There they are at that direction and I'm going to pace off exactly 55 feet to kind of set myself right in the middle of the two and then I'm going to go over and drill at 55 foot. Hopefully they don't move before I get there but as you can see they're moving a little bit just from hearing me walking. And if you look at 57 foot, you can see where my auger just entered the water column. And there's still a couple crappy on the bottom there, but they pretty much moved out of the water column, either to the right or left. But at least now I'm in the right area to catch those fish that were 55 foot away because they were not moving over to where I was sitting. And I'm going to come back and check and see how I did drilling, see where the fish are. It looks like they did kind of move back towards where I was set up originally. But now that I'm closer, I'm gonna go and take the live scope over and set up on top of where they were just a few minutes ago and see if I can get them to come in. All right, we're hooked up. First one of the year in Maine. Feels like a decent crappie. Yeah, it's a nice crappie. All right. Good slab to start it. Not a bad fish to get it started. Let's get a measurement on him and get him back. Mouth shut. Right at 13 inches. All right. Not a bad one to get started with. 13 incher. All right, let's get him back. All right, nice. Cool. Giant crap on the left. That's a big one. Here he comes. Come on, baby, bite it. Got him. That's a good one. That's a big fish. Oh my god, it's a giant crappie. Giant crappie. Giant crappie. Look at that slab! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> Look at that slab, folks. That's a giant crappie right there. Sweet. Oh my god. That's a big one. So exciting. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Look at the size of that one, guys. That is a mega. There's a 15 incher right there going back. That's a 10 inch hole. He makes it, he makes a 10 inch hole look pretty small. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, he's pissed. Head down. All right, nice. Yes. Okay, let's catch another one. That was fun. Can't tell if that's one fish or two fish. He's coming back. There he is. Got him. Another good one. Another good one. Got another one on, guys. This one, oh yeah. Look at that one. Oh, I need a bigger hole. I need a bigger hole. <laughs> nice one. Nice big fat crappy right there. Another good one. Get him on a measurement. Probably in the 13 range. Nope, he's 13 and a half. 13 and a half with the mouth shut. 
All right, that's a good crappie right there. Nice. All right, this guy looks like he's pretty hungry. Still might be a perch. So hard to feel it with this wind. There he is. Feels like a perch. Feels like a decent perch. Yep. Nice yellow. Nice yellow perch. Dark one. Cooper. Not very big. He's in the 10 range, probably. Ow. He's sharp. Just under 10. Nine and a half. Get him back. Oh, big crappy. Big crappy. Shoot. Get down to him. Come on, come on, come on. Get down. Get down. Get down. There's two big crappy on the screen. I got no worm on, but I'm, I'm in a crappy's face right now. Those are two big slabs right there, guys. Two big slabs. Up eat, up eat. Eat it. Got him. Feels like a decent crappie. Oh yeah, another steamer. Just barely enough. <laughs> he didn't eat that spoon, so I switched it up real quick to that trap style lure right there. And he jumped on it. All right, another good one. That one's over 14, big wide. Yep, 14 and a half right there. 14 and a half and they are big and wide. There he is, guys. Did the quick switch on him to get him to bite. Nice. Another slob of a crappie. 
<laughs> Look at that one, boys. All right. That choked it. He absolutely choked that. Ate it up. Look at another one on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Works pretty slick. All right, big old slab crappy guys. I just did the one-two combo on them. Went back to the rattle, the rattle bait to try to bring them in. We are at 14 inches, and there's another one on the screen. Another one just kind of slid through while I was messing with him. Let's see if I can get back down to him. The rattle bait, nothing on the screen. I like to go to the rattle bait. Doing a little one two combo here, guys. I'm, I'm actually finessing these fish with a flat spoon, sometimes tipped with a piece of meat. But if I have nothing on my screen in the area, I'll drop this rattle bait down and start making some noise in that mid water column where the crappie have been cruising through. Oh, it's a yellow. Jeez. I was not expecting that. That's a decent yellow. How big is that yellow? He's a uh, pretty decent yellow. Real dark. Oh, there's a nice crappie down there. hit that on the drop. He hit that on the drop. A little crappy. Alright. Not a bad one there. Oh. <laughs> cool release. Hooked up, hooked up on one. Oh, is that a big yellow? Wow, lumper yellow first. Woohoo! What a monster. Wow. That's big. Oh, we got a big crappie coming in too. Let's get this back. Come on, give me my hook. Big crappie coming in. Giant crappie coming in. I want to measure this perch, but got a mega crappie coming in. Oh my god, if that's one crappie, that's going to be a giant. Yeah, it is. This is a big crappie. 
this is the one we're after folks he just kissed it come on baby fight Go big or go home. Come on. There's a school of crappy now, but there was one mega. Oh god, that's big. Don't leave yet. You Don't leave yet. I got one more offering for you. There he is. Nice. Got him. Oh, he's tugging hard. Wow. Wow. What is it? Oh, it's just a giant yellow is all. <laughs> Popped right out. Another big yellow. Come on, people. This is why I don't have a phone. Looks like looks like a pickerel down there. We're about to find out, I think. Uh, maybe not. Might be a big yellow. Let's see. I was on the bottom. Ah, it was a pickerel, I was right. He looked a little long on that live scope. Nice. This is a good crappie. Oh, it's a yellow. Jeez, I thought that was a big crappie. Wow, nice yellow. It's like a nice 11 incher. Pretty good size, chunk. There we go. Come on, baby, eat it. Fight over it, fellas. Come on. and I missed him. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Oh no. No, 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 Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Sweet. All right, got one. Nice crappy there. Over 13. 
You're not hitting very hard anymore, I'll tell you that. That's a beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back. That should be a nice crappie. That should be a pretty good slot. Yep, that's a stable crappie. That's a giant. Look at that one, boys and girls. Let's see what he goes. That's a good one. Another 15. Another 15 incher. Looking pretty good. Got him. Doesn't feel very big. Ah, he's getting bigger now. Definitely getting bigger now. Oh, oh no. That's not good. It's a bass? Oh, it's a giant yellow. Oh, wow. Look at that yellow perch. I thought it was a bass because it's so dark. Oh, shoot. The crappie's right there ready to eat. Get down to that crappie. a big yellow perch. That's a pretty good size yellow perch right there guys. Two-hander. Let's see how big he is. 12 and a half. 12 and a half right there. But he's fat, you know like. Here comes a nice crunch. Fish here. That time he bit. That time he bit. All right, got a nice crappie on. Pretty nice crappie. Oh, geez, that's a big one. 
That's a big one. What a beauty. Holy cow. That was a tough bite. Another in the 15 class range. That's a good size crack right there. Mouth closed. Yep, he's right there at 15 again. 15, pretty thick through the back. A couple nice big crappie. Got him. He's not that big. He's getting a little bigger now. Oh, geez, getting a lot bigger. Yep, it's another big one. Oh, what a beauty. There's another big one down there. This was just the first one to act. Oh, another nice one. He's in the 14 and a half range. Beauty. Get him back. Catch that other one. The other two are like wondering what's going on. Hopefully he doesn't spook him on me. I think he might have spooked him on me. But, ah, whatever. I think I want the one on the left, but... How do you turn down that one? Got him. I got the one on the left. Putting up a pretty good battle. Get out of that transducer. Oh, what is this? It's another big crappy. <laughs> so we got a school. These aren't the 15s, but they're they're over 14. Oh man, I got a school on me now. Look at that one. All right, let's get right back down to them. Let's see if I can get down there before I let this one go. There's about eight of them down there. They're all in this like 14 inch range. Okay, I got one on me. I'm going to slide him back. See if I can get another one before he gets in. Some good ones down there now. We're on some good ones now, guys. Here I am. Oh, missed him. Shoot. Oh, did I just screw up the whole school? Looks like yellows. Nice yellow perch. Tugging pretty good. Nice yellow perch. Oh, there's a crappy way up high. What's he doing? Did he really just follow that perch up? Okay, I think the big one sees it. He hit it. He hit it. Why did I not catch him? That's not cool. I was so focused on catching these fish and I had my head down in the electronics that I didn't even notice that 
the air temperature warmed up enough to melt the top of the ice and all the snow pretty much that was on the top of the ice. So it's not good when you're under three inches of ice to lose like a quarter inch off the top and who knows what I lost off the bottom. And I was really nervous getting off the ice. As you can see, kind of tiptoeing, a lot of cracks coming underneath my feet. So it was definitely go time. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys. That was just a great day. Bunch of fish uh, all over 14 inches, handful over 13 and five over 15 inches. So pretty phenomenal day catching crappie here in Maine. Thanks for watching this whole thing. Even with this ridiculous hat I am wearing, I might've lost a bet. I can't really tell you. Had a real bad feeling in my gut once that top layer started melting. You know, once the top layer melts, that means the whole thing's getting soft and there wasn't much ice to begin with. I was definitely under three inches of ice out there and I'm pretty big boy and I'm glad I didn't fall through. Might be the only ice I get for quite a while here in Maine. We got some, some uh, rain and warmer weather coming. It's been a terribly warm spring up here. A couple cool things to consider. You know, when you're going for bigger crappie like that and they're aggressive, they weren't super aggressive today, but I used that one-two combo on them where the spoon was actually my finesse bait, believe it or not. I followed it up with a little rattle trap style bait, but I don't know if it was the color or the size or the action that they liked, but they ate that they ate that rattle bait, that hard bait really well, a lot better than people would expect. You know, you don't think you're gonna catch a lot of crappie on hard baits and rattle style baits, but that was the deal today, you know, that one-two combo. I lost two big ones when I went down to a little tiny, like uh, four or five millimeter tungsten. And I guess the hook's just not big enough. It, it pulled out, I moved the fish. I think I, I hit three big ones on it and I was downsizing because they were getting a little bit tougher to catch, but maybe I should have just upsized to that rattle trap. All right, guys, made it back out to the truck. I wanted to go over the gear for today because I get a lot of questions on gear, but I really like this combo. This isn't like my absolute favorite combo right now for crappie. It is clams. I don't even know what they call that reel, but it's an inline from clam. It's probably their best one, I think. Oh wait, there it is. It says gravity. It says gravity on it, <laughs> but it's been super smooth. Got a real nice drag system and it drops fast. I haven't had any problems with that. The rod is the Panty Popper by Lake Effect. Uh, this one is, let me see, action says ultra light, but it's actually got a ton of backbone. It's 31 inch. Uh, this one, the, it's called Panty Popper is the model, but I've been super, super happy with this. I put a lot of fish topside on it since I got it out at the St. Paul, uh, Minnesota ice show. And it's just about right for these big ones. And you can still feel the small ones too. The other weapon I put into play today was a little rattle trap style bait. This one's like a golden shiner, red belly. Um, they were eating that really well. And you know, I was using the, the forage minnow kind of like a finesse bait and then whacking them with this and bringing them in with this. And you know, a couple of those crappy got it pretty deep. Uh, rod for that one's just a white noise, 28 inch medium light it says it's pretty light it keeps them pegged pretty well um, you don't get a ton of feeling with it so without the electronics it'd be a little bit tougher one to use 
And then I just have a little Sienna 1000 Shimano reel for that. I used all three pound tests today. I had clear fluoro and yellow fluorocarbon, didn't seem to matter. But those were the two that, that got it done. And that's the gear I was using today, guys.